Hello and welcome back to the channel, it's JPA here. So yeah, Rangers vs Leon tonight, 8pm kickoff. Uh, it's available on BT Sport 3, I'd imagine you'll get it on Rangers TV as well. Really interesting game, uh, I remember a couple of years ago, or more than a couple of years ago now, we went away to France, beat them 3-0 and unfortunately came back uh, on home soil and they beat us 3-0. Uh, real disappointing night that night, but I've still got the memories of winning 3 0 over there. Uh, and they had a much better side back then as well. They had the likes of Benzema, I think Janino was there. Uh, they had a really good side back then. Uh, times have changed, they're no the outfit they once were, uh, but they did well in the Champions League last season. Uh, let's not have any doubts about how hard this game's going to be. Uh, I think they got to like, the semi final last year in the Champions League, uh, eventually got put out by Bayern Munich. I think they beat like some Man City along the way. So they're a good side, um, they're missing a couple of players from the, the last couple of years, obviously Depay has moved on to Barcelona, which opened the door for Dembele to go in, and Dembele has been done not too badly, I don't know exactly how many goals he's scored for them, he scored in the, the latest 3-1-1 uh, over Strasbourg in the league, uh, but unfortunately and we'll talk about this a wee bit later on, uh, he's taken a knock and he won't be available for them. Um, in the league they're 7th, uh, sitting about seven points behind the league leaders PSG. Uh, it's a difficult league, so I'd imagine that'll all change. I wouldn't put too much emphasis on their league position right now. Uh, apparently, Rangers have had a, a pretty poor start to the season, uh, and we're sitting first in the league, so I wouldn't pay too much attention to people saying that. Uh, the way they set it is quite familiar in Europe. It's the 4-2-3-1. Uh, very attacking. Uh, they want to get forward, they get the, the wings players forward quite quickly and they look to play balls in behind and they use a lot of the pace uh, but like we've seen a lot of these European teams yes they're great going forward if you look at Benfica you look at uh, Braga who we played in previous years Porto, uh, Lisa Warsaw these kind of teams that yes they're great going forward but they do tend to leave little, bit, get, little bits of gaps in behind and they are susceptible to being hit on the break so hopefully if we've got Alexa Ryan Kent available, which obviously we'll talk about a wee bit later on, who's available for us, but we've got like some Morelos loss and that running behind, then it could cause problems for them, so hopefully. Um, look at their players, I'll go and talk about who's not available uh, in a wee while, but I'll talk about who is available. They've got Paquita in midfield, a great player. It's Zerdan Shakiri, who you might remember from uh, his time at uh, Liverpool last in the last couple of years. And they've got uh, Solani, who used to play for Leicester, I don't know if you remember him, big uh, bully of a centre forward. And that's where it's interesting, uh, I don't know if you've heard yet, but... So Moussa Dumbelli, who former, formerly played for Celtic, will not be involved in the game, unfortunately he's got a calf injury or a, some sort of muscle injury, and he won't uh, be playing. I'm kind of disappointed with that, I wanted to see him play, uh, I wanted to see how we handled him, because uh, he's not playing against the likes of... Rob Kieran and Danny Wilson and all that kind of stuff. He's got actual really good defenders to, to face this time. Because uh, I felt it was a wee bit too easy for him at times when he was getting these hat tricks and all that. We were, Celtic were winning 4 5 now. And that's all very well, good and well. Uh, but we didn't have a great defence back then. Uh, I'm not saying Dumbelli isn't a good player, by the way. If you're playing at Leon, you're obviously a, a fantastic player. Uh, and they've put a lot of trust in him being their kind of main striker. But unfortunately for them, he's out. Uh, I'd imagine it'll be Slomani that comes in, or maybe probably one of their uh, younger attacking players, but I'm not really 100% sure how they're going to play that. If they play Slomani, they'll probably have to play slightly different. They kind of just bring balls in behind, because he's not got natural pace like the likes of Nambelli has in uh, Depay before him. So they're going to have to play slightly different, maybe get a few balls into them. Uh, so we'll take a look at Rangers now. And uh, Alright, we've not been firing on all cylinders. But the fact we're sitting top of the league, we've won the, the first all firm game of the season, uh, and we're in this stage of the champ. Uh, the, I've got to say Champions League. There. We're in this stage of the Europa League, and we're not there by accident. We've been there the previous uh, three seasons, and we've done really well in the competition. Uh, and teams are starting to sit up and take notice of us. We are in the second pot, which means we're this, effectively the second best team in this group. I wouldn't go too much on that. To be honest, uh, there's a lot of good sides in this group, 
Uh, but I think we've got a real chance of making it through this group, I really do. Um, good news is Goldson will be back for this one. Uh, Al McGregor will be back for this one, back in contention. Um, Liam Balgan, I'd imagine, will slot in for the bad news I'm going to tell you right now. You've probably already heard it. Hillander is unfortunately out for a good few months, it looks like. Uh, Gerard only said the foreseeable, and then he w later went on to say it'll be a couple of months at least. So we're going to be missing him. Big player, big game player. But Balogun, I believe, probably would have played in this game anyway because of his pace. Uh, obviously, as we said, Leon have got the attacking threat very, very quickly going forward. Uh, we might need that pace at the back, so I think Balogun will sit in. Uh, the two wing-backs, I think, will be Tav. And I think Barisic will come back in, which is good because they've got a lot of good experience. Eh? You look at Patterson uh, and Bassey, but they've not got the experience that we need at this level. So... Looking forward to seeing them. Uh, and there isn't really much else to talk about in terms of team news. Uh, Hadji is the only one that's expected to probably be out because uh, he's obviously been sitting out with COVID and he's not able to return. Ryan Jack and Offerbar are obviously the, the only other ones who we kind of just skip over. Uh, they are still in recovery, so they'll not make it. Uh, so in terms of my prediction, I'm going to go fairly positive for this one. Uh, I'm not going to go for a win, though. I'm going to go for a Ranger 2, Leon 2. Goals for me, Morelos and Ryan Kent, simply because they are the type of players that really stay, take a step up on the European stage. Uh, we've all seen goals from Morelos and Kent at this stage in the competition. Uh, they're great players, and they're really, uh, despite... The fact they've only played a couple of years in this competition, they, they seem quite experienced when, when they play there. So that's why I'm going for two for us. I do think Leon will score goals. They're a really good outfit, I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, but I think we can at least avoid defeat tonight. Uh, if anything, we can maybe push for a 2-1-1, one, one, but I'm going to go 2-2. Two, two, uh, simply because of the, the, the class of our opposition that we've got to face tonight. Yeah, so that's the video pretty much done guys, thank you very much for watching, I uh, hope you stayed through to the end of this video, uh, despite the fact that my voice is really squeaky and I uh, feel like I'm hitting high notes at, at times, uh, I think I've pretty much edited most of that out to be fair, but yeah, it's been a struggle to do this video because of the way I'm talking right now, I've had a few interruptions with coughing and stuff and I've had to edit that out as well, but hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one, cheers guys, thank you.